Hi, this is Barbie at Artifaces, and we are going to make, <laughs> hold on, let me make sure it's taping. My little daughter is holding the camera. Um, we are going to do Batman. We're going to do a super quick Batman, under two minutes, if you practice a little bit, and I've got a little trick to make it go really, really, really fast. Um, so my husband, Tad, is going to be our model today. He's so excited when I pull up my face paint kit. I want you to get closer to Ted, okay, with your camera. Now, we are going to do uh, just a little bit of white, middle forehead. You don't have to be neat about it. Um, you could even use a metallic. It might work better. I'm just using my tag right now. Then I'm going to use my tag metallic blue only because uh, it just goes on so nicely and smoothly. And I'm using a smoothie blender, which is what I love to use on kids' faces because they're so soft. Um, but it seems that... My husband loves this one, too. <laughs> so, again, you don't have to get really neat with the blending. If you want to, you could use a sponge that you have uh, double-dipped, one end blue and one end white, and you would just go around like this, and you'd be done. I usually actually use do that method. Now, the next step is you are going to take a flat brush, and I'm using a size 16. You can use a half inch if you want. Um, but a larger flat brush, don't use a one inch or three quarter, that's too big. What you're going to do is, I want you to stop petting the kitty, Ava. What you're going to do is, you're going to lay between the eyes. You are going to lay uh, vertically your paintbrush. You are going to go up and over the eyebrow. Come this way. Lay it down really hard to get a thick line, and you're going to go up at the end. Okay? And then you're going to pull down the side of the face with a thin line. What I like to do then is to fill in a little bit, make that edge wider. Okay, there you go. Now you can see how, what my trick is. It goes super fast. And normally, if I'm in my normal face painting position, I can whip this out in just seconds. So I'm down the face again. And there you have it. Next step is you're going to have, stay vertically again and you're going to make the bat shape and you're just going to press down and come up to a point press down come to a point and this is his head and then you're going to make an upside down u shape fill it in real quick done look how quick that was take your round brush your normal round brush i use a four and you're going to make a couple bats i make them come in real close ava i make them by making a v and then pressing down and flicking out down flicking out sometimes I put another little line in there so um, very quick I make two on the cheek which the guys love okay if you need to clean up you can normally you actually don't need to clean anything up uh, you could stop at this point I like to add white I add white to all of my designs it makes the design pop from far away I also add polka dots which is kind of unusual my boys always ask me why, and I say to make this pop from far away. Use my little pipe cleaner paintbrush and some liquid white. <laughs> I'm going to use my regular paintbrush and just outline just a tiny bit at the top to give it some dimension. Again, if you're short on time and you've got a line and it's, uh, you know, you're painting 500 kids, don't do this. But otherwise, um, it's, it's worth it. Come down the side, a little bit of white. Oops, I can't see that side of his face. There we go. If you want to, you still have more time left over, you can make a moon shape. Um, I think this is overkill at this point, um, but you never know, you may like it. Stars, I've seen stars on Batmans. Um, again, I wouldn't do this if you have a line, but a couple starbursts like this can really add to the design. So that is your Batman. Super quick and um, Get that, get that flat brush working for you, and you can get this design down super quick. Open your eyes. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Enjoy your Batman.